quick reading about the throat chakra and the third eye chakra. If your intuition feels a little scrambled or um, like things just aren't coming to you and there's almost too many choices, um, this reading is probably for you. So initially what came through is this throat chakra and I see some inflammation in there and um, it's running, you know, too hot and kind of like not even really in the right wavelength. It's running at about nine 790 actually I see like 797 right now so maybe even a little hotter um, as I poke around in there but um, so this is like I feel this explosion of your purpose um, and you know things are kind of starting to come together so to speak um, and you're doing a lot and you might not be doing the most but your throat chakra is not conditioned for this. Yes, it's, you know, coming online now and it's beginning to calibrate itself and it can be used um, in a new way. And a lot of the things that you're creating down here in the sacral chakra are, you know, ready to enter the world and the, you know, the conditions are right for it in terms of the frequency there. But it's not conditioned for this much movement and for you know this much activity and this much production basically so it's becoming inflamed it's working too hard it's getting a little overheated and um this is also somewhat affecting the third eye so it's almost like so let me talk about what we're going to do actually first we're going to use a 741 frequency for this um which is a solfeggio frequency and I am just, I really, you know, I only use things that come to me, um, you know, in the moment, like ch channeled, so to speak, is what people call it. So, and for a long time, the solfeggio frequencies did not come up for me, um, except occasionally, and now they're coming up more and more. So um, 741 is what came through, and I didn't um, really even know what it was about. Um, that's how little, you know, I recommend the or recommended them in the past. So when I looked at this, um, you know, it, it says a couple of things. It says that it's, you know, can balance the throat chakra. Um, but it says also that it would fine tune the intuition, um, which is really more this than the throat chakra, um, especially right now. So when I s read that, I was like, okay, so 741 came through for the right reason. So that sort of affirmed my, my suspicions that this would be like a good fix for what's going on. So the other thing that 741 um, is good for um, it was said is to be to cleanse your kind of vibrational biome, right? Your whole vibrational environment from electromagnetic radiation. And what was really interesting is I kind of got had got this, um, you know, this image of this third eye sort of having these like zaps, you know, like, and it was almost like, um, I was feeling like it was like too much electricity was coming out of here or I couldn't tell if it's electricity or magnetism or both, but too much charge was coming out of here and, you know, causing this third eye to be on the fritz. And so, I mean, that's literally what radiation is, right? It's too much energy and it begins to radiate out. So 741 sound, I would do this for um, seven minutes and I would do this for three days and you pick the days and um, if you can, as soon as you wake up, because that's when your vibration and your brain are in their most malleable stages, which means they're sort of the easiest, not that it's easy, but the easiest um, environment for, you know, correction and, and, and for new programs to stick. And that's what sound is. It's a way to program your energy to go into the certain pattern, um, and then things get better. So that's what I would do. And then the other thing is just like, you know, slow your roll on what you've got going on. It doesn't feel like this is, I'm going to retract that. It feels like this is touching on the solar plexus chakra. So the solar plexus chakra, what I was initially going to say is it's not, it doesn't feel like it's like getting out of balance or affected. So, but it's looking okay. 
but it is, yeah, it's looking a little, it is looking like that. It's looking a little inflamed and it's actually kind of sitting over here. So, um, you know, it's trying, the solar plexus chakra is trying to sit on this, you know, more feminine side of the body and, and, and be softer and let the sacral chakra lead, etc. But I can tell that even though doing all this stuff with, you know, from the purpose standpoint, isn't necessarily coming from an ego place. I'll just stop trying to drive that arrow. Isn't necessarily coming from an ego place. It's just barely touching on it. Um, too much for what I would like to see. So rein it in. And I think right now this feels like it's coming from a good place. Um, but that's the great thing about looking into your vibration and having a kind of relationship with it because you can be preventative, right? I could see where this will go if you don't slow the roll on the, on the throat chakra. So maybe just prioritize what you're working on and, you know, take maybe one off or if you're working on four things right now, make that three. That's what it feels like. It feels like this is a very easy and small adjustment. And it doesn't mean, you know, don't let your soul purpose come out and, you know, put your, you know, put your soul back in the cell that it was just in. Like, you know, it was totally in captivity and it's trying to like just get in the wild now, right? Well, it doesn't work that way. So it doesn't mean forget about your dreams. It just means maybe they're gonna come a little bit more slowly Again, everything's calibrated well, but there needs to be some conditioning of that chakra. It can't handle this kind of volume right now, but it will. You'll build resistance. You'll build this like a muscle and, and it'll be great. But just, you know, ease off a tad. <laughs>